Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you're starting to find some improvements in SimUpdate 5 on your systems. First of all, I want to thank you all for your feedback and for subscribing to my channel, I really appreciate it, and I'm really pleased if I helped you guys get sorted out in VR with the new update. So I'm at the point now where I've spent lots of hours in the simulator, experimenting with settings and figuring out what works best for me. Before I go through my best settings, I just want to make sure you understand that, that these aren't necessarily the highest settings. Luckily, my PC can run the sim on the highest settings, However, I think it's a personal choice at this point, so once you know your sim is running fine, then it's a matter of dialing into your personal preferences. I've always preferred to have a really smooth experience because I really want to feel the flight and feel the way the turbulence moves around and everything else like that. So for me, the movement is essential, but obviously I want clarity, so it's about finding that balance. So I'll just share my settings with you and I'll explain to you what I've done and why I've done it. And hopefully this will help you guys get dialed in on your own systems. So first of all, here are my Windows Mixed Reality settings, which I use with the Reverb G2. Do remember you can pause this at any time and refer to these settings, so it's easier to see in time. And I'm using the most recent NVIDIA driver, 471.41. And here are my NVIDIA 3D settings. When you're setting this up on your own system, just make sure that you're selecting a program to customise rather than having it on global settings. And then you can just follow what I've put on there, and hopefully it'll help you too. As always, I've got game mode switched off and hag switched off. I've got the OpenXR developer tool set to custom render scale 100% and motion reprojection disabled. And here are my in-game VR settings. The main thing here is that I've set it to render scale 80. Remember the OpenXR is on 100, so I'm using render scale 80. The reason why I'm doing this is a personal preference. I feel it's much more responsive and it's smoother and I'm getting absolutely no stuttering whatsoever, even at low altitudes. I know in some of these videos I fly ridiculously low, but I'm just trying to show that it's not stuttering. This is the setting that works best for me in most of the aircraft I've tried. So it's a work in progress, but this definitely hits a sweet spot in terms of what I want from VR. I think the most important thing about setting this headset up is trying to dial in that sweet spot with your PC in terms of how powerful it is and how well it runs it and also your personal preference. Do you want to have absolutely full resolution and therefore getting slower frame times and go for the ultra responsive movement? I think it's worth mentioning again that the FPS counter isn't really that big a deal in VR. I always post it just because I see it as a statistic and it's useful to see that information, but please don't rely on FPS all the time. It's really about what it looks like, how it feels and how you feel about it personally and whether you're happy with that in the simulator. So in my opinion, it definitely is a mixture between technical and personal preferences. Anyway guys, I hope this helps you dial in your Reverb G2 with the latest update. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I look forward to making more videos soon. Please let me know in the comments if you've got any questions, and I'll try my best to help you. As always, take care, and stay safe.